This is just a quick video of my uh, EDC I thought I'd do. I actually got um, a few different EDCs. I've got one I keep in the car, one I keep on my bike, and then this one, which is just uh, one I'd uh, carry actually on me, which I'll do a review of first. Um, I, I always have this on me. It's a tool logic knife. Uh, a lot of because it's kind of a tactical item. I think you know a lot of people frown upon that sort of thing, but it's actually really useful knife it uh, flicks out easily it's got a lovely shaped blade a kind of spearhead blade which is good for carving in little nooks and crannies if you're into carving which uh, I quite enjoy doing when I go out camping and that um, this bit here is a little bit weak because it's got an unnecessary notch in there which is for um, shaving along your flint striker which is stored in here but you really don't need that because you could just as easily uh, scrape it with the back of the knife so I'd, I'd, that's one major design flaw for me that it weakens the blade unnecessarily now um, as well as the flint striker in there I also keep as you can see some uh, cotton wool to use as tinder which I could get out of there with this it's kind of jammed in there at the minute but there we go so I've always got some tinder there with you and it's also got a really decent whistle on it so it's probably the loudest whistle I've got and I've got quite a few decent uh, whistles but this one hopefully you could hear that there it's, uh, it's really really loud whistle so um it's a nice plastic as well it's quite a hard plastic uh, handle to it so uh, I do really like this knife probably one of my favorite uh, small knife I've got and obviously mobile phone everyone carries them but you know, really useful, and um, my keys for everything. Now, on the key ring here, I've also got uh, a little add on. There's a mini mag light solitaire, uh, another whistle, which I might take off because I'm not sure how necessary that is to have on there, really. And uh, this uh, small Swiss Army knife, which has got just a tiny blade on, but it's nice and sharp. Got a pair of scissors on there, which is really useful. Um, a file, which actually I find comes in quite handy. The scissors, even though they're small, <coughs> they're they're really uh, useful. Actually, they they work perfectly fine for this size. And also got uh, tweezers in there as well, which is handy for uh, if you get any splinters or anything. So always keep that on the keyring, even though it does make them a bit bulky in my pocket. Uh, always carry a bottle of water with me, but no point me showing that here because you want to know what a bottle of water looks like. Then uh, a few additions I have, depending on where I am. I wouldn't necessarily carry these things all the time, but I do add them sometimes. Uh, if I was walking in the woods, I'd always take this with me. Now, this is a called a five-in-one survival whistle. It's obviously got the whistle there. Here it's got a little flint striker, which, to be honest, isn't really much good. It's so small. And also where it's positioned, it's quite awkward to get it down to, to the tinder you need to light. So it's, it's really just a bit of a token gesture having that on there. But I suppose you could pull it off there easily enough and it might be a bit easier to use. Um, got a lanyard on there, I guess you could use for something if you wanted to untie. Uh, a compass on the end there, which works quite well. And if you undo it, inside you've got a signalling mirror which is pretty small really, but it's better than nothing. And a waterproof compartment for all your matches. And I have tested it and, uh, and it is waterproof. No air escaped it or no water got into it. <clears throat> and these are only like £1.50 off Amazon, £1.75, something like that, under £2 anyway. So for under £2, you might as well get it, even if you're only gonna use it as a waterproof match case. But um, the other things are quite handy. They're not as good as if you, you know, they're not the best quality whistle and compass, but it's all right if you're just going for a walk in the woods, but you know, in case you get lost. Then. Um, <clears throat> got this multi tool, which is more of a uh, urban kind of survival tool, really. Um, it's got a decent pair of pliers. Nice handle on this, uh, on my old multi-tool the handle was these bits here were very thin for where the tools folded in so if you were using trying to hold hold it tight to use the pliers it'd really dig into your hand which i found to be quite a problem because i used to use those old ones a lot for work 
but these ones have a really nice comfortable grip on them quite a few other things in it got a there a saw that I've sharpened up and a file um, knife it's quite a nice sharp knife it's a flathead screwdriver Phillips screwdriver um, a little sort of pry bar a nice sharp tin opener sometimes on multi tools and that you, you get a tin opener which is really blunt which would be very difficult and useless to use but this is a nice sharp one and um, also on here is this little square metal peg which is for use with this which is uh, a load of screwdriver head adapters you just take that bit off and slide on there and then you can put any one of those in there they're all magnetic to help help them hold in tighter which is uh, pretty useful it does make it a bit bulkier to have in your pocket though but if you want it on your belt it comes with this nice case it's quite a quite a thick sturdy case then lastly i've got this um tactical torch it's only a cheap one i got from uh, hong kong it's like five pound 66 and uh, that included postage as well so you, you know you can't knock it really um, had to buy the batteries separate though, which was another sort of four pound for the uh, two batteries that you get that you need for it. Are these ones? That size go in there. Um, it's waterproof. It's got O-rings on the where the where you screw it together. Um, it's pretty heavy duty, it's quite thick metal it's made of. Um, it's uh, got this bit here so if you drop it, it won't roll, these sort of flat bits here. Um, and it's got this jagged edge to it which is uh, pretty much for self defence, so if you want to you can you know, jab someone under the ribs or slap someone in the head or under the chin, whatever. That's uh, reasonably bright as you can see there nice and powerful LED bulb in it so uh, it's not you know for the price I, I wouldn't knock it even though it's only a cheap one it uh, it doesn't seem cheap it doesn't feel cheap or anything so I um, definitely recommend that really for the price you can get them off eBay um, it didn't come with a case I just made that myself out of an old bit of material I had lying around so I can just uh, slide the torch in there for one and put a little bit on there and put it on my belt and that's pretty much it really for my personal EDC. I'll do another video later on of um, my car and bike ones.